I'm going to show you how to paste your screenshot onto an iPhone in just a few easy steps. Let's do it. Hey guys, Rob Baldwin here, IMX Productions, and welcome to a brand new tutorial from IMX Video and Design. And let's jump right in. So we've got this awesome stock photo here of a woman holding an iPhone. I believe that to be an iPhone 8. First thing I'm going to do is paste in my design. My, sorry, my screenshot. This is just a placeholder screenshot. Next thing I want to do is convert that to a smart object. So we're going to right click on the layer and convert to smart object. Now what smart objects do, they're really awesome. Basically it creates an embedded Photoshop file so that all you, we're going to take that, we're going to distort it, we're going to uh, make it fit so it looks like it's on the iPhone. But then what you can do is double click on that object and it's going to load up the original uh, screenshot as an, as an embedded Photoshop file, and you can paste in a new screenshot, a different photo, anything you want. So it makes this a reusable template, so you can use it again and again and again. Okay, so smart objects, awesome. But don't forget, you have to do it first. You can't convert it to a smart object later. So step one, we're gonna move this over the iPhone. We're gonna hit Command Control T for transform. And now we have to zoom in nice and close. And we're gonna right click distort. And we're gonna take the four points, four corners, and just pin them, zoom in even more, as close as possible to the corners of that screen as you can. Okay, corner number two, moving on down. Corner number three, get it in there, there we go. And last corner, all the way down here. Move it. Excellent, okay, so we've added our screen. Looks good. Next thing we wanna do is, as you can see, we got a finger that goes in, that kind of covers the screen here. So what we wanna do, that finger there, and we're gonna duplicate the photo layer we're going to come up here to filter sorry select select and mask and with the quick selection tool we're just going to select a finger and this this tool actually does a really good job we probably don't even have to fix the the, the selection at all it's probably good enough and that's good enough we just want the, the portion that's covering the phone um so that's actually looking pretty sometimes you might have to feather that edge but i think this looks pretty decent as is so where's my panel Oop, there it is. Um, hit OK, and we've selected just those three fingers, and we're gonna move that above our smart object. There we go, so now that finger covers, so it looks pretty decent. Excellent. So this would work right here, but I think we can do a little better and just make it even more authentic. So if we zoom in here and take a look at our image, You'll notice at the very top, it's really crisp, and down at the bottom, it's blurred. So let's do that same effect um, with our design. Now, my design kind of sucks because it's just the placeholder is orange. I don't think I'll be able to. So I'm going to go, let's go to Google, find a quick uh, screenshot, paste it in to our smart object. And okay, just so we can replace. There we go. So now I can actually see there's, you know, there's more going on, so it's easier to blur. So. Um, I want to blur the bottom down here. So I'm going to duplicate my smart object. So drag it down to the new icon, duplicate. And with that one up here, we're going to add a quick blur. So uh, filter, add a Gaussian blur. Okay, there we go. Pretty simple. We just added a blur. Now we want to add a mask to that blur. So hit the mask icon. And we're going to grab a gradient, uh, black to white, and just stretch and add a gradient so that it the, the blur filters or blends out and drop the opacity a little bit and that's looking pretty good okay lastly what we can do is we can create a glare a lot of these iphone photos have I'm gonna switch the opacity there a little bit a lot of these iphone photos have have glare i'm not seeing it in the original photo but we're going to add one anyways so what we want to do hit command and control and select our screenshot and hit a new layer and we're gonna fill it white. There we go. And then we're then gonna add a mask, very similar to what we did with the blur, add a mask, go grab our gradient, and so, oop, there we go, gradient that way, perfect. And then lower the opacity, and that's looking pretty decent. I like that, look at that. 
So it's a little minor detail, but it adds a lot, just that little blur. So go back to our original image, hit save. And as you can see, it's just that easy to switch a screenshot, just like that. I think we've done a pretty good job. Okay, so quick tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, few easy steps. We create a smart object, we hit distort and conform it to the iPhone. And then we, if there's any kind of fingers covering the screenshot, then we have to add a layer on top of just the fingers like that. And then finally we added a, a quick blur and a quick glare to our screen to just make it look a little more authentic, a little more like it, it matches. Then just double click the smart object and keep replacing it with new screenshots again and again. You've just created yourself an awesome mock-up template. And if you don't even want to do that work, you can click the link below, go to the blog post and download this very file right here uh, that I've just created. You can download that. So hope you enjoyed that guys. Quick tutorial. Uh, comment below. Let me know what tutorials you'd like to see, what videos you would like to see in the future. Check out some of our other contents and our other channels and check us out on Instagram. All the links are below in the post. Okay. We'll see you next time. Cheers.